Good morning, folks. We have two main things to hit today. We'll be looking at space weather, including an X-class solar flare and the multiple CMEs heading for Earth. Second, we've got yet another confirmation of the galactic current sheet. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and to follow up yesterday's showing of several CMEs heading out this way, we took an X-class solar flare overnight from the big sunspots facing Earth. It was rather impulsive and no CME signature for that one yet on SOHO, but we've got other CMEs to watch for. First, here is the X-ray flux showing the elevation of emission into X-class range last night, but it is the CMEs that have us a bit more concerned. Before we showed you the triple CME event two days ago, First one, a far side event, but the next two are coming this way. And then yesterday, the data updated to include the fourth and fifth eruptions, both of which appear like they have Earth-directed components. NOAA's Enlil Spiral still only shows the first two. Same thing you saw in yesterday's show. I guess they took Sunday off up in Boulder. But despite that fact, we can tell from the coronagraphs that after the initial two CMEs heading this way, which are expected to merge for an impact tonight or tomorrow, there are likely two more behind them heading for Earth. NOAA has forecast that these eruptions will produce KP7, level 3 geomagnetic storms during the peak of the disruption. We'll see if they update the endless spiral today while we continue to monitor the active regions. These sunspot groups have gotten huge and there is some significant magnetic complexity in the central zone, which is what made the X-class flare. We have eyes open. Top science article today is about the 60th confirmation of the Great Galactic Wave, a rippling wavy current sheet radially flowing outwards from the center of the galaxy. For those who don't know what that corrugated term means in the subtitle, this is generally what it means. You all recognize this shaped form, except it's not just a waveform in one direction when it comes to the galactic version. It is a large scale radially flowing outward structure in the galaxy and folks, it looks like this. The galactic current sheet carrying dust, ions, and the galactic magnetic reversal point. It's what's causing the Earth cyclical disaster and ongoing geomagnetic pole shift, what's causing the changes throughout the planets of our solar system, and what will be triggering the great solar flash, the solar micronova. It's the reason why there is a disaster cycle. This is what our documentary is all about. We are less than 24 hours from the end of the Kickstarter aimed at funding models and visualizations that go beyond our wildest dreams last day. Link is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.